Gujarat Biotechnology Research Center. Is this a name that you've heard before? Is there something interesting about the name? Well, it has Biotech Research Center in it. Do you want to apply for vacancies that are available here? Do you want to know whether you are eligible to apply for the vacancies available? Then stay tuned. Gujarat Biotechnology Research Center has recently posted an advertisement where they are recruiting for multiple projects. If you want to know more about what those projects are, what are the positions available, how many of them are available, what the eligibility is, the salary and also how to apply, then keep on watching. Before we move on to all of the details, let's take a look at what Gujarat Biotechnology Research Center actually is. So the government of Gujarat has established Gujarat State Biotech Mission as a nodal agency to help in the overall development of biotechnology in the state in the year 2004. The major activities included promoting research and development in the field of biotechnology. GBRC has been recently established as an autonomous institute under DST, which is Department of Science and Technology, Government of Gujarat. Now, what is the focus of GBRC? It's not only to undertake and conduct cutting-edge research in frontier areas of biotechnology, but also leading to the development and applications in sectors like healthcare, agriculture, environment, and marine. So what are some of our research areas of GBRC? Plant biotechnology, environmental biotechnology, molecular diagnostics and therapeutics, industrial biotechnology, marine biotechnology, and animal biotechnology. So as you can see, there's a heavy focus on biotechnology and any of its specialized areas. But don't worry, even if you're from a life sciences or from a bioinformatics, biochemistry background, you still have a chance to apply for the vacancies that they've advertised. So let's take a look at what those vacancies are. Currently, GBRC is recruiting for the positions of Research Associate, Senior Research Fellow, Junior Research Fellow, and Field Assistant. And as you can see, in the numbers besides the position, there are 12 vacancies in total available. So there are 12 projects and 12 vacancies available. Four for research associate, one for senior research fellow, six for junior research fellow, and one for field assistant. So let me give you an overview. The projects that GBRC has advertised for range from genomic selection, discovery of hyperthermostable enzymes, analysis to identify biomarkers, technology for development of streptokinase in production, global challenges research fund, development of early diagnostic kit for Alzheimer's, plant miRNA base for cancer, treatment technology for textiles, and Genome India. So you can see that they cover all aspects of biotechnology, be it plant, be it animal, be it environment. So let's take a look at what your qualifications need to be. So first off, like I said, there are four vacancies of research associate available. So for research associate vacancy, what they are looking for is, in terms of fellowship, there are categories such as RA1, RA2 and RA3, which means depending on your experience, you will be paid as such. So it ranges from rupees 47,000 to rupees 54,000. Okay. And let's take a look at the qualifications. First off, if you have a PhD in biotechnology, bioinformatics, life sciences, marine biotechnology, marine biology, fisheries, aquaculture, or equivalent, you're eligible to apply. Similarly, if you have three years of research design and development experience after M-Tech in biotech, bioinformatics, life science, marine biotechnology, marine biology, fisheries, aquaculture, with at least one research paper in science citation index journal, or if you have an MSc in these above mentioned fields, 
with three years of research design and development experience with at least one research paper. So as you can see, for research associate, you can either have an MSc degree with three years of experience, MTech degree with three years of experience, or a PhD. And depending on your qualification, you will be entitled to the fellowship as mentioned here. Okay, so what is the experience you would need for this particular project? Would be the candidate should have research experience in molecular biology techniques, working with NGS platforms and especially RNA isolation and transcriptome data analysis with good research publication will be preferred. So this was the qualifications and the fellowship which you will need for the first project. Now moving on to the second project, again fellowship will be similar since it's for research associate position. Now what are the qualifications? So we can see a trend here. You can have an MSc with experience, MTech with experience and a PhD. So what subjects are they considering? Bioinformatics or biotechnology. Okay, along with the relevant research paper published in the SCI journal if you are from an MTech or MSc background. Experiences, the candidate should have research experience in bioinformatics with good research publication which will be preferred. So like I said, though the name suggests Biotech Research Center, even if you're from a bioinformatics or life sciences background, you still have a chance to apply. Now coming to post three, which is again a research associate post, and this is for the third project. Okay, so as usual, the same pattern follows MSc with three years of research and design experience with one research paper which has been published. If it's MTech, again, with three years of research design and development experience and one research paper published or a PhD. But take a look at the subjects. You have biotechnology, bioinformatics, biochemistry, human genetics, medical biotechnology, and cancer biology. Okay. And candidates who have research experience in cell culture, aptamer designing, NGS data analysis, etc. with a good research publication as evidence will be preferred. Now moving on to post number four, which is again research associate with similar pattern of MSc with three years of research design and development experience and one research paper published, MTech with three years of experience with one research paper published and a PhD. So in this case, the subjects include biotech, biological sciences, bioinformatics, environmental biotechnology, life sciences, molecular biology, or an equivalent degree. So as you can see, even if you're not exactly from a biotech background, if you're from a life sciences, bioinformatics, biochemistry, genetics, molecular biology even, microbiology as well, you can apply for these vacancies. So candidates who have research experience in cloning, expression and NGS data analysis will be preferred. Now moving on to the fifth post which is senior research fellow. There's only one available and accordingly the fellowship will be rupees 35,000 and that is if you have a net qualification and if you do not have a net qualification then it will be 27,300. So what are the qualifications for the same? A postgraduate in biotechnology, bioinformatics, biochemistry, microbiology or a graduate degree in a professional course in the above subjects with net qualification and two years of research experience preferable in the area of microbiology, bioinformatics, antimicrobial resistance or if you have a postgraduate in biotechnology, bioinformatics, biochem, microbiology or graduate degree in the professional course and two years of research experience preferable in the area of microbiology, bioinformatics, antimicrobial resistance. So as you can see one is with the net qualification and one is without. So based on that your salary will be determined. So this is for SRL. Now we've come to post number six and this is for junior research fellow. And again, the salary is dependent upon if you have a net qualification or not. So if you have a net qualification, then you will get rupees 31,000. Without net, then you'll get rupees 23,213. 
So what are the qualifications needed for this particular project and the post? Postgraduate in veterinary science, molecular biology, biotech, microbiology, life sciences with net qualification or a graduate degree in professional course in the above subject or a postgraduate degree without a net qualification in the above mentioned subjects. And experience wise, the candidate should have research experience in microbiology and molecular biology. Similarly, moving on to post 7, again, your fellowship will be determined whether you have a net qualification or not. And so either you can have just a postgraduate degree in biotech, bioinformatics, human genetics and molecular biology or have the same with net qualifications. And candidates who have research experience in genomics, NGS data analysis, computational and systems biology will be preferred. I think you can see a trend here. So all of these terms are very common. Genomics, NGS, data analysis, bioinformatics. You can check out Biotechnica stores. We have a couple of courses available there. So if you want, you can enroll and get certified. Now coming to position number eight, we have again GRF, similar fellowship based on whether you're net qualified or not and similar qualifications to the previous one. Then moving on to post number nine, again, similar qualifications and your fellowship will be determined on whether you have a net qualification or not. And candidates should have research experience in cell culture, miRNA, expression analysis, computational systems biology, and molecular biology. Position number 10 is also a GRF. Again, your fellowship is dependent on your net qualification. And you can see if you're from a biotech, biological sciences, bioinformatics, environmental biotech, life sciences, molecular biology background, then you're eligible to apply for this particular post. These qualifications are dependent on the project that they are recruiting for. So the candidate should have research experience in metagenomics, data analysis, transcriptomics, molecular biology. Moving on to position 11, which is again a GRF, similar fellowship dependent on your net qualification. You can have a MSc degree or an MSc with a net qualification. And you should have research experience in bioremediation processes, metagenomic data analysis, transcriptomics, and molecular biology. The last and final project and the final position is a field assistant position. And you have a fellowship of rupees 18,000. And the qualifications are postgraduate in molecular biology, biotechnology, life sciences with net qualification, a graduate degree in professional course in above subjects with net qualification or just a postgraduate degree in molecular biology, biotechnology, microbiology, and life sciences. Experience, the candidate should have research experience in molecular biology, and the candidate should be ready for field sampling. So I think you have a good overview as to what positions are available, what are the qualifications required, what is the fellowship offered. So just to refresh your memory, if you're from an MSc, MTech, PhD background with subjects ranging from biotechnology, life sciences, biological sciences, bioinformatics, biochemistry, genetics, molecular biology, microbiology with the relevant experience. And if you have a paper published, then you are eligible to apply for these positions. So what are the terms and conditions? All of these posts are purely temporary and will be filled on a contractual basis for an initial period of 11 months, which can be ex extended after the satisfactory performance of the candidate till the termination of the project. So once there is termination of the project, there's no provision for re-engagement. The selected candidate shall not claim for a regular appointment because the fellowship is co-terminus with the project. Okay, so the maximum age on the last day of the application as per the advertisement of the applicant is 35 years for GRF and field assistant and 45 years for research associate. So no TA and DA will be paid for attending the interview. So the last date for submission of online application is 16th up to 6 p.m. So the link have been mentioned below, one of the notification and one as to how to apply. So there is a fees that you need to pay to apply for this. 
So for the research associate, it's 250 rupees. For JRF, SRF and field assistant post, it's 150 rupees. Okay. So this is how you can apply. If you scroll to the very bottom, you have the links available for the notification as well as for how to uh, apply online. So this is the official notification that you can view for yourself. And this is the online job application system. Okay, again, you can check the details of the advertisement here. Last date of application is on the 16th of this month. Okay, so you need to register and you can apply. So all the best. I hope this helped all of you. So stay tuned to Biotechnica. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. And you've also subscribed to our newsletter because you will get all of these links sent to your mailbox every week. And you follow us on all of our social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And do not forget to subscribe to us and follow us on Telegram because you'll get all of the updates, latest updates there first. Thank you.